Welcome to Factorio Base in the Book. My name is Nilos and this is episode 21 and I have a big plan for this episode. But first I want to remind everyone that uh, there is a in the bottom left hand corner there's always going to be a sponsor for today's episode. So thank you to the sponsor of today's episode. Maybe a name you know, maybe not. Uh, and that is that sponsor is a... Templar of the Path, or it's a patron supporter, high-level patron supporters, and I am going to continue the series for one episode for each of these active uh, at at the moment. So that means uh, that's uh, the way for sort of me to say thank you to the patron supporters and give them each one episode of this beautiful Let's Play. So uh, thank you to uh, to the sponsor of today's episode, a patron, or and all the other days as well. So what are we? What is my plan today? Well, I, we've kind of filled up the bus here. We've kind of done everything we have, and I talked a bit about last time that we were sort of wrapping up this one. But what I what I actually want to do is I want to make three stages of base in a book. The first one is going to be red belts and blue assemblers. That's the one we're going to work on right now, and it's the one I want to complete in this episode. Then from there on, we are going to scale up and make it a base that includes blue belts, yellow ins inserters, lots of modules and beacons, but basically squeezing out as much as we can through this layout. But maybe you don't want this, maybe you just want a base that can launch a rocket now and then and do a bit of science, and then this is the base. And then the third stage of this base, because hey, I'm I'm planning on, according to the number of, uh, of patron support supporters that, uh, uh, so I can find something that is actually transitioning into making mega base designs for this kind of base. So this becomes more of a starter base and then we go into mega basing with sort of also city block designs. And I'm already in progress of designing some of those. So that's gonna be exciting as well. Uh, that means today there are a few things that we need to do. Firstly, I have, uh, we started at the end of last time a big build of solar panels, gigantic. So I've had to, previously they were going prioritized on the belt to go towards the rocket launch. And then only after that, they went in here. Now I'm actually gonna just, evenly saying half of it goes in, half of it goes the other way. I think that's better so that these are gonna continue. Granted, if we look at this line here with the solar panels and accumulators, it is sort of accumulating slowly backwards, but letting it fill up, there's no reason to, to do that. What we want to look at as well is some of the things that are not working as fast as they should. Plastic could be better if we look at the setup here. That one, 64, that's two belts. I am kind of considering maybe just putting some beacons beacons and modules and, oh, okay. Well, that's not actually the problem. The problem is the fact that we're not getting petroleum in. Oh dear. Well, that was not my intention is was looking at that, but um, we will. First of all though, let's uh, continue on the last bit of the nuclear power. Let's get that one up there. Also need to take a look at that. Uh, this one is definitely not getting enough. So why is it because this one? Oh, wow, that is not good. It's empty, it's empty. And down here, it's slowly filling up. Let's just assume that this is slowly filling up. Yeah, and that's the problem. Also extremely dark. Anyway, what are we gonna do? We are gonna get some, what if we go down to this location here and see how many do we have in total? Oh. There, I was missing some. And then we do this part just to see how many there are. 28, okay, so first of all, I need to get five additional of these. Five and 28, that means this is gonna be 56. I'm just gonna go 60. And that will be fine once I have that, then I can move down there and upgrade all these so they go faster. Do I have one or two trains? I have only one train. So let me also get another train here. That seems very reasonable to get another of these trains. And there, that one is, that's a bit more than I needed. There, four of those and a train, good. Let's go to our, here. I'll get a train thing and I'm gonna steal from here. One, two, three, four. We might as well ride this one and you know, the easiest way to do this is, oops, not driving manually, but finding it here. Copy, paste, 
go. So we are heading down here. Another thing that I'd like to do is actually go down there and take the copper. So I should take a look at my Spidertron as well. The Spidertron will need to go down here, clear out some space down here at this location. I could also use artillery, but uh, I don't really feel that I need artillery at this point, not for this part, at least. Uh, I'd like to actually cut it off here and then see what's down here as well. And I am now in the location. Excellent. How much, how's this? It's very slow. All right, so first of all, we're gonna build this and see how well this fits uh, in here. Please let it fit. Mm, yep, so far so good. Two out of two out of two are not colliding with anything. And that one is also not colliding. Wow, none of it is colliding, super awesome. And is there anywhere that I could put, maybe I could put that one here. I could, and that one there as well. Here. And then definitely... Another pump here. There. So I, don't, I want to make sure that this is pumping as fast as it can, and now it's time for us to... Scale these up. This one is going from speed one to speed two. Okay, so they're basically, we're doubling it plus adding a few more down here. And then we can also add modules uh, in between to just our beacons in between just to really force it in here. But what have we done here is, is actually just more than doubled the capacity or the throughput. So I'm gonna be happy with that for now. The only question is then can we actually keep up the flow rate? Let's have a look at this one. Oh, that looks much more likely. Looking good, looking good. And here, how are you guys doing? You are at 88. This one is empty. Four, 24, 24, 25, 25. Off we go. All right, this is much nicer, much, much nicer. All right, so that will, uh, I'm not, gonna sh not sure if I fix the oil. I think it actually fixes the oil. If this one can keep pushing at 1100, then 1100 is exactly what this facility can do. And it'll then be outputting 1800, which I don't think is actually gonna be supportable, but we, uh, we're gonna take that as it comes. So that one, and the next thing I want to do is just get the all the way up the top. We are going to build uh, the what? Oh, is this one also doing badly? No, it's actually fine. It's fine. Eh, it's okay. Here, copper. Yeah, copper is a big, big deal right now. And now the oil should be coming in and should be much better. All the way up here, I'm going to get some more pipes. I have 200, so that's good. I also don't want 50. I just want oh, 50 now, not 60. And green circuits are not doing great. And that's probably a copper issue. Plastic is not doing great. It's all, it's all not doing great. And all the way up here, now this one is working and almost done. What I can then do is I can do this part here and then probably flip it and get it here, yep. And let's build a few of these. That one and from this side as well. Are they connected? Yeah, they are. And. Ooh, let me just check this part. Uh, that's probably fine. Oh, that that's... Hmm. Let me check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so not a problem at all. Just trying to figure out if we are getting in trouble with any of the, of the number... To, uh, to guarantee the flow rate. And it doesn't seem like that's the case. So here, I don't know if I can just do this one and then flip it and then it'll still work. It'll absolutely work, that's brilliant. Perfect symmetry, love it. And that's it, nuclear power is hooked up. So that's one more checkbox. And that one's kind of missing, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get all of these things soon enough 
not to worry before that we actually need it uh, we are also way over scaling our nuclear power i just really like it for symmetry reasons that we have all of this up here and there's no way that we are going to run out of i'll run out of uh, uranium and uh, also this one this is always going to be the worst one because it's relying on blue belt blue circuits blue circuits are always bad in this case they're very bad because of the greens are not coming greens are not coming in because uh because yeah copper is not coming in so everything around what we're doing is revolving around we don't have enough copper so that's uh let's use this one to just clear out a bit of this and see if that's actually going to be a problem or not how easy slash difficult it's going to be to clear out these spaces yeah that's uh more than capable even going out and taking these big ones That was probably out there to expand if I th I'm thinking that's the that was the plan. And over here, let's actually just go down here because I think I know what's down here. Oh, there's a million vitals, that's what it, that's what's there. Okay, I don't like it when it slows down. When it slows down it starts getting hit a lot more. But if it's just moving at the good speed here, then it can absolutely destroy. There. That took out a gigantic one. And let me continue to push down south. Okay. Another one. Another little discreet uh, biter nest. Oh, look at that. Let me take like a massive amount of damage as soon as we get... Oh, uh, hold on. Don't stand still. Wow. Luckily there are not any, or not many at least, of the green biters yet. They should be coming very soon and we'll probably get a few here and there, but still not many. And behemoth worms are even worse. Okay, we're actually getting quite a bit of damage here. But, you know, we'll get it, we'll get it. It's... One of these spider zones can just take an infinite amount of of punishment here. Okay, still want to go down because I am a bit puzzled. I thought there would be water down here. That's water. Yay. Right, so this water is good. <laughs> good water. Why is it good water? Because it actually is... Con uh, constraining our build and that means if I can just get this wall down here then I actually have a full location that is we can then uh, pretty easily get call ours and so I'm just going to walk along the edge so we can see that it is actually a fully uh, fully a closed off area please let it be yeah fully closed off up here and then we'll work towards that location all right, we'll go through this one. I know that a lot, some people have said, like, hey, you can't cut out all of the biter killing because uh, you want to see how that works as well. The thing is, with the, once you have the Spidertron, that's how it goes. And you can get, if you want to clear out like a giant area like this one is, like this area, then it actually would be nice to have artillery. I don't think I want to build an artillery train for just this one. It just seems like... I'm going to build it for sort of the stage two of my base. Oh man, that's a giant one. That's blocking our coastal trip. Okay, let's get out so we get speed and then start going in again. Okay, don't bother with that and just continue up here. These ones, these are big worms. No, they're not big ones. They're behemoth worm, Jeremy. Is it? That's a medium worm. Okay, worms are pretty big. Those are big worms. Yeah, they're just big worms, but not behemoth worms yet. And go out again. Go this way. It's taking kind of a bit of punishment. Oh, we really should consider the health. Nah, really not. Or maybe I should. Maybe just let it repair a bit after this fight. The worms are the ones that deal the most damage here. 
There we go. And that means you can now see the point of all of this uh, clearance here is that if I cut this one down here, I get this copper plus I also get other copper and I get this little stone location and that's going to be really good for us. And then I can just have this choke point and cut this one down here. That's going to be what we want to do. But uh, since we've all done this before, we've set up copper location, we've set up the walls. There's no reason for me and for you to do that together. So I will just... Uh, Let's uh, jump to when I we, we have this ready to hook up because that's going to be essential for our base. And so a lot of the time has passed and we are uh, just steadily moving along here. The Spiderton is clearing out. It's been clearing out this whole thing. And I put up my little wall here. This is not really protected. It's just going to be there with three lanes of not a wall. And then over here, we just have a single line of not a wall. And so our not wall is definitely completed and we are slowly but surely making our way towards uh, this one. We can see uh, this one is done and it is 2.1 and this one is 2.3. So we are getting exactly what we want to see here. Lots and lots of copper coming in. We're going to wait until we get the first copper train actually allocated so we can hitch a ride back home. And in the meantime, this one will be just responsible for clearing out a bit of the junk out on the outside here. Uh, this is basically how I do it. I have like a patrolling one, two, three, four patrolling spider trons, always sort of clearing the path around, or not the path, but clearing sort of the, the perimeter, walking around, repairing, that kind of thing, just uh, nice and quiet. And we're gonna see if these ones, they are still not available for one. That's 6.5 and this one is 6.5 as well. So they are coming in very nice. There was one thing I wanted to make back at the home base, but I did not get to do it. So we'll also build that. That is, you can see this location here is suspiciously empty and that's where we want to build something that will just rejuvenate our base to a unknown degrees. Ah, uh, maybe that was a bit of an over overstatement. Here we go. That one is coming in and that one's coming in. That should mean, oh, we only have four of these trains. Well, we're going to throw in a few more trains, right? Let's throw in a few more trains just for the hell of it. Uh, I can actually hit you right on one of these. That one and four of these and I'll go there. Copy, paste. I'll see if this one can go back to this location. Oh, it can. It's not going to be very successful because it's going to be an empty train, but still it's uh, it's going to work. So this is how easy it actually is to set up a copper train. I mean, granted, you need to just clear out the entire space. But once you do that, just stamping down a few of these, they will, yeah, you have the blueprints and you don't need to sort of uh, reallocate trains or anything like that. They'll automatically assign to these when they open, when they have something available for pickup. And they are now already at 6.4. So what we will see very, very shortly is the fact that we are having more iron or more copper available than we uh, than we need, which is super nice. Okay, and I am going to take that one out. There we go. So let's go up and build the stuff that we were want we wanted to do at the very last location that doesn't have anything yet. You can see copper is still going to be a big issue, but it is it's uh, it will be better. Now, what is it I want to make? Well, I want to make something cool. <laughs> Let's go to the hub first. The hub, the hub, the hub, the hub, the hub, 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 hub. Uh, batteries are not doing great. Mm, I wonder why. That's actually weird why batteries are not doing great. Uh, also, it's come to my attention that this one is uh, scaled up too much. So I'll just take that out. I don't want this one to be a red belt, red inserter build. And instead i want what did i want to do oh right it's up here by this one so um, do you really need to be there now nah, you can be further out without causing any kind of trouble there that's gonna be fine If I look at this one, this is going to nuclear, this is going to that one, which is going to be empty all the time. So how about I put this one, oh, there. And maybe even that one. And this will make hazard concrete. Woo, lovely. This one. Can't imagine a world that that's 
Uh, no. I don't even think I want this one anymore. Okay, I might actually go back here. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of in doubt, but let's just have it work. But I'd rather want this one going in here, because that's the most important one. That one. Oh, right, that's why I disabled my rover port. Ah, that's good. That's why. So this one will be here. I don't know, 4,000, probably enough. And I have this box here. Wouldn't it be better to have another one of these? Yeah. And again, I really rather want this to be constrained at this moment by the logistics network instead of anything else. So that's 4,000. There. And there. There. I don't want any of these anymore. Do I? No. Not really. I mean, I could use it for something, but don't want to. There. Keep converting this. Oh, right. These absolutely have to be faster. There. Alright. All of this is good. This one is... Yeah, sure. So that's uh, done. So what I've done now is I have built a way for us to make that. Uh, make the hazard concrete. Or then we go up here because that's going to be the next thing we want to make. Is building some more concrete. And that seems like a good as any place to build it. And as much as I'd like to have... It's, I think I'm going to do this. So the ratio is normal concrete, four of those normal concretes, and that will go into three has concrete. There. Yeah. And then I'm going to clip it into the other side. Uh, it's going to be like this, that distance. Whew. So ultimately, that's going to be outbound. And what are the things we want inbound? We want for this one, this needs concrete and lots of concrete, mainly concrete, right? Yeah, predominantly concrete. So I'm going to need concrete coming from this side. Yeah. And this is the, the, the outbound location. What does this one need? This needs stone bricks and uh, st stone bricks and iron ore so we need to get those two in and then we need on top of that we need iron for iron ore and or iron picks sticks and steel if i just build a single one of these like this that one should be fine and I just need to make sure that we have all of these highlighted there. And it's not part. There you go. Now it's part. Let's have a look at this ratio. Perfect ratio, perfect ratio, perfect ratio. And this is perfect ratio. There. There we go. No, this is not perfect ratio, but it's more than enough. So this is all I need to, uh, to, to worry about. Right. Uh, can I do that? Well, what if I bring in a belt here? This one will be iron and steel. And then I bring it out here as iron sticks and steel. So sticks and steel may break my bones, right? That's how it goes. That one, and then I go steel. No, steel. Does that make sense? That means on the outside belt, the top belt, I need to have, st have iron. Uh, that's going to be... Here, this will be... Iron at the top, and then steel. I'm going to keep these in here because it's complicated. The middle one will then be... Yeah, the stuff that... How do I do this? Do I really... Okay, that's going to be one. It's going to be two. And those are the only things I need in bound. The plus some water, of course. Let's do that. This one, how is it? It's going to be stone bricks. 
and it's going to be iron ore there and that this doesn't matter where where each of them are cool and i think this is going to work but i just need to do the inputs and outputs so the lower one we can completely ignore because that's that just has to pass through this area so we just need to make sure that it goes something like this and now that's the space i have uh, the outbound will be up top so that's going to be outbound 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 and inbound from this one we'll do that so it makes sure it can keep up it probably doesn't need to at this point but if we we were going to end up putting speed modules in them at some point and this one will be Mm. grabbing from the middle yes and then outputting here oh yes I think that works and over on the side you are going to be a bit more complicated aren't you because you need to output on the middle one uh, let's 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 do that that's outputting then I need input from both this one and that one uh, then I think it's actually easier for me to do this part and remove. Ah, I like that. That's that's actually good. Yep. There. Yes. And I also need to pick up from the closest belt. So that's just going to be like this. Looking good. Or do we want to make it closer? Nah, we'll make it like this. And then this one has to grab from the furthest belt. That's okay. We'll just do that one. Grab, grab. And this one as well has to grab. So I need to do this one. And grab from the closest one. They will be here. I think this is going to work. It, it looks really strange. But I think it might work. And let's get three of these and three of these. And then put them. Put them in here maybe i actually just want the slower one it's not going to go very fast so this will be our good concrete there let's fire up the water parts and now it's time for us to get some inputs Is this seriously just... Yeah, it's it's one-off. Of course it's one-off. What did you expect? There you go. Now it's fine. And so, let's get some water in here. I think I have water somewhere around this location. Yeah, we still have it. It's right there. and that one so we got water inbound now the next part we want oh i'll use this one to go here all these should be coming so let's see here it's important that iron is at the top and steel is at the bottom so on this belt here i would normally do it like this but that would mean iron is at the bottom and i don't want that so we have to avoid that by by what exactly by doing this it's really clunky by doing this and then steel comes in here Sure, that's how we do it now. And please let this one match with something we can use for steel and not just mess up. Yeah. Oh, it works. There we go, steel comes in. And there. 
Except now we have the other one. I don't even bring my... Where is that? There it is. There. Now this is being used for two things. That's actually uh, quite surprising. Hence, it belongs on the bus. If things are used for more than one thing, then they belong on the bus, generally. Here, um, bu -bu -bu -bum, where is it going? It's going a bit further up. Yep, it is. Here. Somewhere on that one. And then I need some stone, stone bricks. They'll be like this. And then go, oops, go all the way back. Again. Ah, come on. Really? Seriously? Does it really have to be like this? Yeah, I don't think this is how we're going to do it in the future because that was just a bit too, uh, too weird way of doing it. There we go. At last, I think we have everything we want. This looks good, looks good. All of these, they have all the stuff they need. They just need the concrete and they will just keep going in here and I think they'll be fast enough. And no one's picking up from that location, so that doesn't matter. That's not what I wanted. And can I get stuff in here? Stuff in there, stuff in there, stuff here. Just putting things in. All right, we are now getting just a bit of this. And unfortunately, this is gonna be rather slow. So this is where I've, I was like, oops, should have done that before we actually uh, went out and cleared things because then I could have had this running for a long time and then we can actually start using it. Though there is a bit of a gap here and that gap is we haven't done all of this and we haven't done this part either, but I want to I want to just show you one city block built in a beautiful pattern. So I'm going to get some of this. It's not a lot. And where is it? It's 28. <laughs> My idea is I'll replace this part. I will replace this part. And over in the corners, it's also going to look good. Yep. It's going to take a while. The corners or the intersections are definitely the most important ones. And okay. Still. I'll just build these for now. I'm not sure that's totally necessary, but I want enough to build this. And I'm deliberately using the normal hazard of concrete, but the reinforced concrete here, because I think the combination looks better. Like that there is a tier difference here. The sidewalk, you could say. And then the question becomes, how is this corner gonna be turned like that? Does this look good? See, that's different. That one, that one, that one. Or do we also take that? Oh, and that is almost all of the research. I think this looks better. And then we can take this intersection here and put it, oops, here, that one. That one just to give some context and unfortunately I can't do it on the other side. I can't do it out here.
there. Now that's, I think that's a good intersection. I could probably even get around this one in a car, but I'm not driving cars anymore, but this is a great intersection. Looks really nice. So what we want with this is just uh, stamp this down everywhere and then have a single city block uh, that looks like this. I'll be making that and then I'll be making sure that it is also going in here as into one of the generics. And this actually brings me on to the last point. I, Pace bin is constrained by how big that each uh, blueprint you can upload. So I'm uploading the latest blueprint into Pastebin. That means if I do changes to train segments or I do changes to generic blueprints, they are not going to be on the Pastebin. Likewise, all of the old saves uh, blueprints are not going to be on the Pastebin. But if you look at the description, there is a link to a website that I'm setting up where I try to on every single day after the uh, day of uploading, I upload every single one of these to the website. So you can go from the website and you can download it as text file or you can copy it as snippets. I also put in a single text file, only as a text file, with the entire blueprint, like this one here. The entire thing, so you get it from each section if you just want that. That's mostly useful for later on. But that's uh, that means that, that I've had so many comments about the last one not being available, and it was available. It's just available on the website, but not on Pastebin yet. So. Do check uh, the website that I've set up for this exclusive purpose. So, because um, it's it's kind of a lot of work. So, uh, being yelled at for not doing something that I've actually done is kind of not great. You can yell at me for things I have I haven't done, but not things I have done. So, with that, let's build this one. I am just going to be let's uh, let's just wait until it we have enough, and then we'll be uh, we'll be looking at how this is how this should look. And so this one is now completed. And what I need to do is then take a new blueprint. That's going to be a completely new blueprint. And I want this to be right at this edge. Going all the way to this edge, but no more than that. Damn it. It doesn't work when I do this like that. I have to maybe do this and actually just do it one out there. There. First of all, we don't want any of these. And second, we actually want this part as well. Does it look like something that's divisible by four, all of it? Yeah. So that is going to be a new city block build. It will be also having the one with robot ports because I imagine this is something you'd only want to build in your core base. So that one, that one, and then this one, and the has concrete. There. City, it's called. Paved city block. Well, it's not actually paved, but the path is paved. And also, of course, snap to grid 100. And then it's super easy to find out where the middle is because that's just the middle of the road. There we go. Boop. Let's see. Does it work? Yes, it does. And we can just stamp it down wherever we want. Um, actually, I am kind of... Oops. I'm kind of sure that I don't want to have... There, I don't want to have rubber ports in here. Because you can do that differently. That one is much better. There we go. Reason is that then I can also place it on all these things, the places where I don't have the rubber ports at the firm locations. And I want to do that. So, of course, ideally we want the entire base to be converted to this, but that's kind of outside of the scope of what we have right now. So what you can expect uh, coming up is you can expect that the next episode will be a summary of how the red base works, uh, red belt base works. And then from there, we will go into, uh, go into upgrading it to blue belts and yellow inserters and modules and beacons and all that good stuff to really scale it up. But that's going to be in the next episode. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you are enjoying this, and I hope to see you in the next episode as we sort of wrap up this phase and then transition into the next phase and then later on transition into a mega base phase. I hope that I can still keep your interest in the series because I'm loving it, and I hope you are as well. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay effective.